Ted Tumamast. To our friends from NHL in, in, in the Netherlands, welcome. From Porto, Benvenido. From Yonsei, Hani Nida. <laughs> For our <laughs> for our friends from CERN, bienvenue. From our friends from Philadelphia and Pace, g'day. <laughs> it's wonderful to welcome such an eclectic and wide group of, of, of universities who have all been captured by this concept of the design factory. A wonderful way of, of teaching, of engaging, and of reaching out things that a university such as Swinburne really wants to do. We say that by 2020, we want to be Australia's leading university in science, technology, and innovation. And within the concept of a design factory, we've got a way of making that actually happen, of encouraging our students, of engaging with industry, of doing things that really make a difference. We say in our plan that we want to enhance our global impact through international engagement in education and research and opportunities to enhance the mobility of our students and staff. That's what Design Factory is all about. It's as if that is the embodiment of what we have in our plan. And so that's why it's so exciting for us to be part of the Design Factory and this week to be to welcome and to acknowledge that great network of the Design Factory Network, Design Factory Global Network. There are aspects about the Design Factory process which I think are counter to what we pretend to try to formalise about the nature of research, even about the nature of education, as we try to systemise things we forget those very important things about passion, about people, the things that the Design Factory celebrates. First of all, there's creativity. That it's not just about looking at a problem from the known base. It's about those left field ideas. Some, something very different that may come up and say, why don't we try this? And the Design Factory says, yeah. Let's try it, let's do it. Let's take the risk with something different. Then it's interdisciplinary. You know, the human race tries to systemize everything and decide who are the experts and let the experts decide in their own narrow area. But the design factory throws that idea overboard and says no. Get all those different ideas together. Mix them all up. It doesn't matter in Swinburne that the design factory sits within the School of Design. We're really pleased that the School of Design has nurtured and grown the design factory. But we want students from across the university, from business, from engineering, from science, from the humanities, all those joining together in design factory projects. The other thing we love about the design factory is relevant. It's relevant to the industry partners who we engage with, whether they be community groups, companies, small companies, big companies, even other research organisations that we're engaging with. Those projects is relevant to their needs. It's what we want to do with all our research activities. It's also we want our graduates to be relevant to the industries and communities where they'll go. And that's another really great principle we see in the design factory. And the final thing, it's about people. It's about the people who get together in those groups. The experience that the students, the participants in the projects have, it's also about the people in the design factory and the experiences they have facing the challenges or being challenged by the students. And it's about the people who are gathering here this week as we, we share ideas share our enthusiasm, maybe come up with new ways of doing things. So it's, it's so wonderful that they all come together. So, as I welcome you to Swinburne, we are so happy you have come. We are so happy to be part of this. We look forward to the strengthening of the personal friendships. We look to the strengthening of the institutional relationships 
between all the organisations, all those organisations that, that are also proud to be members of the Design Factory Global Network. I look forward to joining with you this week and we look for the wonderful things that will come from 